Ugh, I give up. Finally! Remember, up and down, not side to side. You know how the main character in all my stories is kind of a skewed version of myself? <laughs> no, I don't read your garbage. I'm thinking maybe the reason my stories don't really connect is because the main character is the problem. Dude, I've been saying this for years! You're fucking terrible! No one likes you! Thanks. Okay, so, here's what you do. Start a new series. Make the character kinda cool, but mysterious. Also, the character should have pet squirrels, but not too many. Like, you know, two. Any more than that is a pain in the ass. I can agree with that. Also, make the character like a strong, silent type. Maybe Susie June. You could do fan fiction about Susie June with squirrels. It'd be fucking awesome. I don't even know what's happened to her. I mean, with the, the whole virus thing, I don't think she could be doing roller derby. Whatever. Just make sure whatever type of character you use doesn't weigh the entire series down every other week with self-involved first world problems. Okay? I'm just saying. You're self-involved and have a lot of first world problems. That crushes the life out of Daily Wonder. But what do I do with the current series? I think just keep working on that too. Duh. So you want me to work on two separate series? Serieses? Series I. That's going to be a lot of work. Don't be lazy! Uh, I would like to go outside at least once a month. For what? Stop being a pathetic loser and get to work. I want the first episode on my desk by Monday. I don't work for you. Hey, did you ever get more ice cream? Uh, no. What the fuck is wrong with you? We need ice cream! Yeah, well, that one time I go out a month, that's for ice cream. Hire somebody! Hire somebody, cause we're out of ice cream. Bitch! <laughs>